she's like 20s, late 20s or mm. early 20s. Um, she's actually better than me. <laughs> oh, oh my god, the highest praise coming from the queen herself. Holy moly! Kamosta, mabuhay, magandang gabi, and welcome back to MGN Diego. Ako po si Ovela, and yes, you, me, and a bunch of other people already know that Katrina Velarde is one of the best vocalists, okay, in the Philippines, even though she does not have that shine on her that she deserves, okay? But we all know on this channel, well, hopefully all know on this channel that she is a beast. That is why I decided to react to a uh, video where the top singers uh, of the Philippines will probably tell you that indeed she is not to be messed with and she is a beast, Katrina Velarde. Yes, the name of the video is Famous Filipino Singers Reacting to Katrina Velarde. Mm -hmm. With English subtitles. Mm -mm. All right, please consider following me on Instagram at Music Game News. And of course, I'd like to thank my dear patrons for their support on the Patreon platform where they get to enjoy all the exclusive reaction videos, including the one that I'm gonna react to today. And it is the last You Peeps performance on World of Dance. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get to it. Singing contests. Hello. Hello. I want to say that to everybody, I know this girl. Mm -hmm. Damn, she was her rival? Hey, see, that I didn't know. <laughs> that's why I know, that's why I'm so shocked. You just Wait, what? Who won? Did they mean that Katrina Velde actually won over Sharice? Let's vote. One, two, three. Yes! Thank you! Napaka down to earth niya. And very humble eh. Um, kahit, kahit naman alam niya na magaling siya, although hindi niya inaamin na magaling siya. Well, super humble nga eh. Like, mm -hmm. kahit nasabi mo magaling siya, hindi, hindi mo makikita sa kanya yung... I think she's humble and shy as well. May, may yabang o may aura na magaling ako. Who would you like to see on that show? Pinoy? Na, alam I wanna see Katrina Velarde. Bam! I wanna mm -hmm. see a, a lot of singers who could go then. By Martin Nievera. Really, just kick butt. There's some of these people on, on Philippine Idol. Mm -hmm. yeah. They could definitely make it a world. Grabe. Grabe. I love that word. Grabe. Do you know that she was offered before TNT? Yes, that I heard. She was offered to go to World's, uh, world's Best. You know, where the TNT boys uh, came in uh, third, I think? I don't remember. But uh, yeah, she refused, and I think it's because she is shy. Before she, before TNT boys got to, I know, but she she declined because she was afraid of, but I think she's family here and other personal reasons. She, you know, I don't want to yeah. get into that. I said, you don't understand. Just two episodes of that, you're world known. World known. It's, it's the world, and the name of the show, the world's best. You don't even have to win. Yeah. You'll be called the world's best for the rest of your life. See? See, even Martin Nievera is saying it because I know a lot of you came at me uh, when I was talking about uh, Marcelito Pomoy, you know, because everybody was really upset that he didn't win, including me. But I was saying that it wasn't the end of the world because just the fact that you're featured on a show like that and making it to the top five Yo, that's already huge and you are known. The exposure is massive. So, see, even Martin Nievera knows it. Her music Valenciano. Is so high. I think Valenciano, you guys told me that he was basically her mentor. So, so rich that uh, if you're not careful and if you don't prepare, you'll be left behind even if she doesn't try. You'll be, you'll be overpowered by her voice. 
but she's such a team player and that's what makes it easy for anyone to perform with her she knows you know not to outdo any other singer yeah not to outshine other singers that's that's professionalism and but experience she knows what her limits are and it makes it something to look forward to you know when i work with Yo, I don't even know if Katrina Velarde has limits. Katrina, you're like, you're a diamond in the rough. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm. Maybe she used to be a diamond in the rough, not anymore. Diamond, diamante ka talaga. But it's in the rough, meaning, uh, actually, pulidong pulido ka na sa harapan natin. There you go, see? But I really believe, Katrina, the world out there, the world out there will see how unreal you are because your vocals are incredible. That's so sweet. But when you come out there with a real heart that you already have, I think it's a world that's waiting for you. Hello, Kaz, and Lani. Lani, mi salute. And of course, congratulations in advance sa iyong uh, napapalapit na concert, so birthday concert, that is. Happy birthday, and congratulations, my dear. God bless you, mabuhay ka, as in super bakula. Thank you so, so much for your talent. <laughs> like I said, a beast, a monster. For your performances, keep it up, my dear. Bye. Buddha Kyo, you know her, her Avenger brothers, you know. Yes, when it's cut, you will have nothing to say. Wala ka nang masasabi ng title ko lang si Kata, so wala ka nang matatanong pa. I think it's time for her to shine. I think people need to hear. Her talent. Sobrang excited for her and excited for her to support her. I know that she will be proud of her after the Actually... Woo! Jean Velasquez with that kid. I forgot his name, but he's also a popular singer. He's the son of another popular singer. Trust me, if I could remember all the names, I would, but I can't. Actually, Actually. you know, she's young. How old is she? She's like 20... Late twenties or mm. early twenties? Um, she's actually better than me. <laughs> oh, oh my God! The highest praise coming from the queen herself. Holy moly! Because <laughs> <laughs> bata pa siya, eh. so um, there's a lot of new singers that are that are uh, better than me because. Your sound is really different now. You know, I've been here hearing her sing and, and she's been really, really good. Uh, sobrang condition yung bosses niya. So, God bless you and more concerts to come. And yeah, congratulations sa lahat. Self-record. Morissette, let's just record ourselves. Is that, if that's possible. Pwede ba yun? Yung ginagawa nito, ni si Kat, yung si Supply Girl. They want to make a cover video. See, Katrina Velarde is an example, and it's true. She was one of the first to actually, uh, you know, open a YouTube channel and actually release content on a regular basis. <laughs> See, that is awesome. I love the support and all the love she is getting from her, you know, essentially her competition, you know? So this is beautiful to see. And honestly, like he, I think, you know, the person that made this video should have finished with uh, Regine Velasquez saying that she is actually better than her. You know, when uh, I guess Regine was at that age, you know, bro, like, I don't know, Katrina Velarde, I honestly feel like she does not have a limit. And it's just how easy it is for her to sing, you know, it's incredible. Oh, this new generation, the Morissettes, the Katrinas, man, they are beasts. Hey, yeah. But, but I think the most polished between the two, between Morissette and Katrina, I'd say it's Morissette. Katrina is like, ah, like it's so easy for her to sing that 
she just sings you know even if she makes a mistake uh, you know from time to time it doesn't really matter that much you know but and and Katrina is not always in character like Morissette Morissette is always 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 in character sometimes it's even scary how she cares uh, how much she cares about her appearance you know and how people see her like she doesn't necessarily let go but but then again when you see her let go she's amazing you know she's a wonderful happy person well, i don't know why i'm talking about more said now but katrina i feel is more reserved she's more reserved but when she sings she doesn't care much about how uh, you know she is seen by people you know she just goes yeah <laughs> but i love them both and there you go there you go the biggest name of the filipino industry just gushing over uh katarina velarde uh and her talent so thank you so much maraming maraming salamat po now it is your turn to tell me your thoughts on katarina velarde what do you think do you think she's a beast do you think she's supposed to be even more popular in the Philippines? I think she's popular because I've been following her for a long time. I don't know how she's perceived in the Philippines, you know, but I think she's very popular. Well, actually, I do because I did react to a video where they, you know, they had like this um, cardboard and they had the picture of uh, Sarah Geronimo, Morissette, and Katrina Velarde and Katrina did not get many pins, you know. It was Sarah Geronimo, of course. Then I think Morissette and I think one of the last was Katrina. So yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why she's not perceived like one of the best. Honestly, I don't know. Um, yeah, so take care of yourselves. Have a great day. Don't forget to smile. And I will see you in the next video as usual. Peace. Thank you for watching, subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.